In this chapter, we're going to load a file. We're going to process waypoints and look at tracks. Show you how to work with the data. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on File and Open. There, it's loaded in. Now I'm going to expand it. And you can see I have waypoints. I have no routes. And I have one track. I will expand that. And you can click on it and you can see the individual waypoints that make up the tracks. And I can click on just the tracks itself and it will show me how many points there are on the track, the date it was recorded, and the starting and end point. Let's go look at waypoints. We have the waypoint name, we have the icon, shared and visible, latitude and longitude. It's very easy to change things on this screen. For example, if I want to change the name of the icon, I just click in that cell and I can key in the new name. So I'm going to call this XYZ01 and I just arrow down to the next line, XYZ02, down to the next line, XYZ03. So that's pretty easy to change. You can also change the icon. There's a drop down box, selection box, that you can go through here and pick out a different value for that icon. If I wanted to make it like this, there I've changed the icon. But I'm going to put it back the way it was, so I did a control Z. Shared and visible have to do with networking, whether things can be viewed across the network, in other words, on your other units. We have the latitude and longitude, and they appear in uh, a format that you choose. So for instance, I'm going to go up here and edit preferences and I'm going to go over here to the position format. I like to use a different one. I like to use this one. So I'm going to change it to that. So I did that. Now I have this. And I use this for all of my applications so that everything is consistent. So this shows the latitude and longitude. I could come in and change those if I wanted to. And then some recordings will show the depth and some won't. So the date and time, that's not changeable. So that's, that's about it for editing the waypoints. It's, it's fairly easy. If you want to add a waypoint manually, you can come up here and click on this. And then you can come down here and it's going to assign a default waypoint number and an icon. And so you can change those to what you would like, and then you can come in here and key in the latitude and longitude. And that's a lot of work. There's probably better ways to get information in here, and I'm going to show you some of those a little bit later on. I'm going to undo this transaction that we were working on a minute ago. So I'm going to do a control Z. It removed it. Now, let's look at our tracks, our waypoints. Uh, there's not much we can do here. Matter of fact, there's nothing we can do in a, in a way of editing. It will not let you do it. So you can see what these are. Uh, I will show you a way a little bit later on uh, that you can edit these. But for right now, just know that they're here and they can't be changed. So what we can do now, we did make some changes to our waypoints. Now I'm going to show you that we can take this information put it back on our SD card, take it to our unit, and upload it. So what I have to do now is determine what it is I want to save. I could save everything or just save the waypoints or the tracks. So I'm going to do the waypoints. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click the arrow that's pointing to the SD card so it will take this information and put it on the SD card. It's going to ask me if I want to add or replace the data that's on this device. And so I'm going to say replace. Yes. Okay, upload successful. So now this information is on my chip. I can st stick it in my Humminbird unit and upload that and it will update my unit. Now, what I need to do though is, is this little, I guess it's in red for a reason. This is the eject button. And I would recommend that you click on that and what it will do is it will stop processing on your SD card so it won't have any problems. Sometimes when you take cards out uh, it can cause some errors with the data and so this is the best way to do it is to just eject it and now you can take it out safely, stick it in your Humminbird unit. 
The last function I want to show you is how you can sort these columns. If you will click on the title of the column, for instance, in the name, the waypoint name column, if I will click on that, it will sort it. And so it has sort, sorted it in ascending order. If I will click on it again, it sorts it in descending order. And you can tell by the, the arrow which way it's going. You can do the same thing with your icons. You can do it with all of these columns, your latitude and longitude, depth, and date. You should now know the basic editing and sorting capabilities of Humminbird PC.